Hi everyone, welcome back. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making some beef and noodles in my crock pot. So if that sounds like a good meal that you would like to know how to make, stay tuned. It's not really hard. Like I said, it goes in the crock pot. So we all like that when it's kind of easy, right? So, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Debbie. And I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Hit that subscribe button. You know what to do with the thumb. Hit it. Give me that thumbs up. And hit the bell icon so you're notified of all the videos I upload. And hello to all my regular watchers out there. I really appreciate you. I really want you to know that I truly mean that. So, hope you keep watching. Hope you keep commenting. Now let's get into the beef and noodles. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to make our beef and noodles, I'm gonna put a little sear on my meat. So I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil to my pan. Get it hot. And you can use a chuck roast. I'm using some chuck eye steak. The only chuck roast they had was these huge, big, gigantic ones, and it was, they were just way too pricey. So I'm going to use these chuck eye steaks, and we're just going to sear them off, get the juices good and seared inside the meat before we put it in our crock pot. You can hear that, it's starting to sizzle a little bit. So I'm just gonna brown it on, make it a mess on my stove. Sear it on each side. Okay, um, I thought I was videoing and I have lost all my footage of this part. I apologize. That is the first time that's happened to me. So let me back up and tell you what I did. I put two cans of beef broth in. Two cans of cream of mushroom. Whatever brand you choose. A teaspoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I put pepper in. I just peppered it maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Pepper it as you like. Whisk that all together. So sorry for you not being able to see that. I feel like I'm always telling you, well, I make mistakes. They happen. <laughs> I hope other people make mistakes too. So now we're going to be adding in our beef that I seared. And again, like I said, you can use a chuck roast. I like using chuck roast or chuck steak. And there's my other one. Just going to submerge that. We're going to get the lid on. Plug it in. Excuse me for the reach. Plugged in. And we're going to cook it on low about eight hours. Might take a little bit longer than that. So give yourself maybe eight, nine hours to get it cooked. But these, these pieces of meat are smaller than the chuck roast. So it may not take the nine hours, but it'll probably, if you want to cook it eight hours on low, then your meat will be very tender. So that's all we're doing for now. We're going to come back after that time and we're going to be adding some noodles. The noodles I'll be adding are these medium egg noodles. I just saw these the other day when I was shopping and 
they look really good. They're, they're, they're tiny looking, but they're medium, it says. But I didn't want to use the white egg noodles like I used in my beef tips and gravy with noodles recipe. So um, I wanted something thinner. And I thought I looked up somewhere online that these were um, maybe an Amish noodle. I'm not sure. So anyway, we're going to use those. So we'll meet you back here after a few hours. Okay, it's been cooking on low for about eight hours. Let's check out the beef and see what it's like. Ooh, did I steam you up? Okay, I'm gonna do this left-handed again. Oh, look, it's just tearing apart. Look at that, mmm, just shreds right apart. So we're gonna take this out of here. We're gonna get it shredded up. Oh, see, it's so tender, just fell apart. We're going to get that shredded up. In the meantime, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch here. I'm going to take two tablespoons of milk and add that to the cornstarch. Mix that up. Make what you call a little cornstarch slurry. Interesting word, slurry. <laughs> a base, if you will, to thicken up our juice that's in the crock pot. Oh, this, it smells really good. I say that about everything I know. Please forgive me. Like I always told you, I always I don't eat with my eyes first. I eat with my nose first. I love the smell of things. So let's pour that in here. Doesn't look like a lot to this. So if it ends up not being enough uh, to thicken it, will you just add a little bit more cornstarch and a little bit more milk in a bowl to combine it? We're going to stir that in there like that. We're then going to be adding in our noodles. Now, I think this is 16 ounces a pound. I don't really think it's going to need all of these. I'm just going to add a little over half. I'm sorry, I hope you can hear me through the crinkling bag. So I'm going to just do a little over half. So instead of like a pound, maybe like 10, 12 ounces. Stir that in there. I'm going to pop the lid back on. Give it about another 25 minutes for those noodles to cook. I might have to add a little bit more beef broth because that feels very thick in there, but we will see. You can always add to it. You just tweak your recipes, whatever it needs. So we're going to be back. In the meantime, I'm going to shred my beef and we'll add it to the noodles. Now, I did want to let you know that I am going to remove the fat. That's one good thing about taking it out of the pot instead of shredding it in the pot. That way you can remove your fat and any gristle. Which I'm sure you already knew that. You all are very smart cooks out there. I know you are. Although, I used to love fat when I was a little girl. I would ask my mom to give me her fat off the meat. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get to shredding this.
think our noodles are done. I did hold off on putting the beef in. I had it covered until our noodles was done. Look at all that good, tender, delicious beef. I'm gonna put that in about the last five minutes and stir that in. Ooh, look how creamy. It smells delicious. Wow. Okay, five more minutes. Now come back on with the taste. Okay. Gonna get me some scooped on my plate. Ooh, this looks amazing. Mmm. Okay, here we go. I did make some green beans with some bacon grease, but let's just taste this. Beef and noodles. Look how creamy it is. It's delicious. Mmm. I like it. You can really taste the beef broth in there. And the beef is so tender and the noodles are tender. It's just a really good dinner. And like I said, serve it with some green beans. I wish I had a roll to serve it with, but I don't, guess I don't need a roll. So I hope you guys try this one. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.